What you got here, Alex? Uh, this is a random ass tablet that somebody dropped off. Uh, it's not charging. I would like to charge it up and see if it works. So right now I'm tinning the pads here so that I can put some jumpers on it and charge it while I do other stuff. Because I do not want to sit here and hold power supply leads for the next couple hours. That's slightly inconvenient. Uh, Brian is now exactly where my torso and arm needs to be. Very funny. <laughs> uh, uh. So you're pasting leads, you're, you're tacking on some leads there so that way you can see if the circuit going to the battery is complete and there's any source or damage. Is that my understanding? Uh, yeah. So I already know I was holding the leads here for a minute. This LED indicator lights up. Uh, so it has a red, green, and blue LED. You shut up. Uh, <laughs> uh, but what I want to do is I want to solder these to these power supply leads because uh, the charging port is busted and it's a proprietary barrel jack that I don't have on me right now. So, because you want to connect those up. Hey, good juice. It has a light. Uh, but I cannot hold four probes at once. So, I'm going to be soldering these two leads to these. You know you've gone off the deep end when you start talking to your multimeter. <laughs> Is that the same of craziest one here? Okay. Okay, it's getting juice and it's going up. This is rated for 3.7 volts. When I measure it, when it's not charging, it is 13 millivolts. Right now it is 2.7 volts and climbing. So we have a ways to go before it's anywhere near operating voltage. So I'm just gonna move these leads over there and do nothing for the next half hour. Okay, so now that I've got the battery all charged up, I had it charging for majority of the night. Now uh, we're going to plug the screen back in, turn it on, and see if it uh, turns on now that it's charged up. Wow, that I owe though. What's up with it? Alright guys, so we tried to get the data to function so we get the data back for the customer. Unfortunately it didn't work, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove the EMMC chip, the memory chip from it, and we're going to show you the how to recover the data from the chip directly itself here in the next section. So here's what we end up with, one EMC chip, this memory component, you placed into the adapter, this adapter gets plugged into another adapter, this is a regular card reader, and the card reader, the, this is back attached has to be connected to a USB port. The chip is in the reader. There's a socket. The adapter goes into the computer with the USB cable. This is hooked up so we can read. And now 
we just need to open up NAN reconstructor. <clears throat> what I have to do really is select the card reader, the MMC, and this side here. We select that, a multiple flash reader. This is the green card we attach to it. And this is, you see, it looks like we haven't, we haven't imaged anything yet. So we're going to do it here. I'm going to go into the next step and select File System Viewer. This will take a little while. Record parts of the drive for the file structure for it to come up. Interest in the file system has to be imaged. We're only using the card. Trades. Detration. Nice. This is going to be fast forward a little bit and get back to you as soon as I can. And the structure becomes visible. So once, so once we see the structure, we can go on the left hand side here. It's simply explore the other side of it, the memory component. Let's scroll over to the left. GTP. You see a bunch of volumes that are here. You pick the biggest one. That has some less, less one. All the media has been accumulated. Um, will be stored here in this. So we navigate to that. The rest of the stuff. That's part of our Android operating system. In the media folder, you can see all the pictures and the emails and everything else. That's the pictures there. You can see all the data that's actually on the phone. So when we start saving them, we have to image them. We're going to copy only, so we have to image this. Let's save them without imaging. So now we're going to image it. Includes both types of messages, SMS, MMS. So we can see all that information. And you see the structure here. That's the contact list of the client. See all the contents are here. Simply selected and exported. Format for recreation. Using the messages, it indicates a bunch of things that are very useful and very important. Yeah. We can see the message it is, MMSMS, who was sent from who, and the message itself. All right, so that's how you extract and get the information off the chip itself. So if you uh, need help with that, you can mail it into techies dot store and we do mail and repairs also if you want help check out techies dot community that's our forum we have questions or how to's uh, you want to find out how to do this in, for example you can look in there and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button over there and hit the bell also uh, so that way you're aware when we have new videos coming out thank you guys